Welcome to Best Seller TV. I'm Taryn Winter Brill. We're here with Shep Hyken. He's the best selling author of Amaze Every Customer Every Time. 52 tools, count them, 52 tools for delivering the most amazing customer service on the planet. Good to have you here, Shep. It is great to be here. An honor, a pleasure. Thanks Flattered. for joining us. Nice to see you, Taryn. <laughs> Go on. Uh, so, first things first, we should say this isn't your first foray into the customer service book business. This is your fifth book. How is this one different from the other four? Well, every one of them have built uh, from the very first one, which was written actually in the late 1980s going into the early 90s was Moments of Magic. Mm -hmm. Title of the book and a theme throughout all of my teachings and trainings and, and speeches and books on customer service. And every time uh, I write a new book, the idea is what's happened over the last couple of years that I've written about, seen, explored, observed, mm -hmm. that can go into a new new book, new publication. What I find interesting is you don't deny the fact that this is not a book to be read. Correct. What did you mean by that? It's a book to be used. Uh -huh. So based upon this idea of the professional imprint, mm -hmm. ABCD, appearance, behavior, communication, digital footprint, does it beg the question then, is leadership a one-size-fits-all formula, so to speak? Oh, no, absolutely not. You know, every leader is unique. Every person is unique. Every leader has unique aspirations, works in, different, in a different industry. Every position is unique. So there is no one-size-fits-all formula, and that's a big difference between uh, my book and the other books on the market, that I don't sell you that one-size-fits-all formula. Because it can be a suit. A suit is certainly a good idea for a leader, but it doesn't have to be, not for everyone. Uh, it can be Oxford shoes, but not for everyone. It can be a Chanel dress, but not for everyone. So let's talk about what everybody's talking about, which is Shark Tank. Yep. Hugely successful show. Yes. Um, if someone went and picked up the book Display of Power right now, what are some of the lessons they might have when they think, I'm an entrepreneur, I respect what he says on Shark Tank, why am I picking up this book? Uh, you know, that's funny you, you ask that because I actually wrote the book before uh, Shark Tank came out and I've learned so much more. Um, but it all comes back to what I write about in the book in regards to the fundamentals. It's talking about applying yourself, but it's also talking about affordable next steps within your reach, you know, not to sit back and overanalyze things and think that things are going to be perfect because they're not. Um, so that's really what I break down in the book, to really think about things, use common sense, apply it, and then have drive and, 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 and surround yourself also with a creative team that also believes in you. Because there was many times in the book that I would want to quit. Um, but if I had partners around me that didn't allow me to quit, then um, you know that was something that was something that uh, you know that probably put us over the edge. Many people quit because they don't have a supportive team. You also say make the customer the star of your show. I think you mentioned in the book how when Taxi Terry picked you up, he said he, he mentioned your name immediately, and you said, "How did you know my name?" And I guess he he noticed <laughs> yeah. on the luggage tags, you exactly. know, he had that that foresight to check the bag, so he you know just shows that next level of care. I'm impressed, Tara. That's yeah. great. You're, you're, <laughs> you, you know the story. See, I'm I love trying it. to treat you like you're a customer, exactly. and I'm, I'm exceeding I, I the expectations. I was just getting ready to say that. that. You are modeling exactly what right. the book's talking about. I just used about. ten I appreciate number three. That. That's right. You, you okay. did. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's the thing. I mean, think of all the things. He, there he saw my name, so why not use it? My first book was entitled "All Business Is Show." business and and it's that same principle here what do you do to make your customer feel like a star 